viewers welcome to my channel Arif education again it's Arif Kadem from Australia with a brand new program of career building tips build your career in this program we will learn how to get a job in the office environment build cover or application letter resume interview tips and techniques etc etc today we will talk about four tips to get a job in the office environment when we talk about getting an employment in an office it could mean different things for different people it could always vary ranging from a small clerk through to a ceo general manager or a director in the company if you have never worked in the office setting before and would like to get a job as a fresh starter as an admin or office support admin officer business support reception customer service accounts clerk accounts officer or any other relevant role i am going to share four things or tips with some real examples for you to consider number one gain confidence in yourself we always say the term gain confidence in yourself but we never give any clues to anyone of how this confidence needs to be gained. There are many different ways that you can actually gain your confidence or boost your confidence level in yourself. First of all, you need to determine your aim. You need to be firm with your goal that you wish to achieve or reach by a certain time frame. Let's say you are currently doing a cleaning job or working in a cafe. You believe you have some qualifications that can help you get a job in the office. You have to think how these qualifications or knowledge gained from educational institutes can help you acquire experience or skill in your preferred profession. You may originally be coming from China, India, Indonesia, Korea, Japan, Thailand, Bangladesh or any other country. Doesn't matter where you come from. Take the example of a Chinese or an Indian doing a job in the office after completing some certificates or a degree. Ask yourself, if that guy can get a job in the office, why not me? I believe I can also get a job in the office. At that point, you must be positive and concentrate on future. You will see how you start gaining your confidence that you probably never had in your past life. Don't be jealous of other success rather than get motivated or inspired by them or their success. Number two, think about your communication skills. You don't have to be a top class communicator in the world to get an office job. Just ask yourself if you are at a level to score five and a half to six in all bands of IELTS at work. You will always be speaking with people, writing and receiving and replying emails. So you must work on these key areas. Think about your speaking and writing ability skills. Do you make a lot of mistakes? Why do you make those mistakes? You should always think that where there are mistakes, there are solutions. It is not an offense or sin to make mistakes. But it is a stupidity not to work on those mistakes to make yourself better. Number three, computer skills. Here you have to think about your IT skills. You should already have good knowledge of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook from your studies or by using in your personal life. Just work on the areas you are not proficient at or good at. Focus on your typing speed and accuracy. How good you are using mouse and all the shortcut functions. Do some basic to intermediate level courses for Excel if you are not confident in it. You get to understand all the basic formulas and functions and graphs. Make sure you understand how to prepare PowerPoint slides and run presentation and make tables in Word, etc, etc. On my channel, I had published some clips on Excel, Word, PowerPoint and shortcut tricks and techniques on various functions 
of mouse and keyboard. The good thing about these clips is that you can learn Excel by yourself as a beginner. You don't need anyone's help to learn as many of my students who didn't know anything about Excel, for example, became expert users of software in a few days. You can easily find them on my channel's playlist and or videos. Number four, learn how to prepare a professional cover letter and resume for the job. Despite having some good qualifications, positive intentions and the ability to do a job, many of us struggle to get an office job just due to not being able to prepare a cover letter and a resume, CV or bio data at an international standard. It is a requirement by an employer that an applicant must have all the relevant and up-to-date information in their CV or resume. Many of us coming from different countries may start using CV or resume that is a bit old-fashioned. They are not accepted by almost all employers in the Western or First World countries. So you never receive a call from a prospective employer after applying for some jobs. So many people just make excuses of uh, racism or not liking the person just because of their background and that's absolutely wrong actually. Therefore, we have to make them according to the international standard. You can easily do some research through Google to find information on how to build a professional CV and write a cover letter for a job application. I'll also share some templates in some of my clips in coming future to help you guys out. Dear viewers, I hope you have enjoyed this clip. If you have liked this, please do not forget to put your thumbs up, share it with friends and subscribe this channel and press the ringtone next to the subscribe button to receive updates on next video clips. If you wish, you can also leave a comment under this screen to clarify or know anything or let me know how you found it. I will come back to you with another interesting clip soon. Till then, take care and have a fantastic day. Cheers.